Okay, so this is going to be another 3090 FE thermal pad replacement video. And the first thing I want to do is get kind of a benchmark for everything that's happening at stock. Now, my particular 3090 FE has had issues <laughs> pretty majorly uh, thermally from the very beginning. In fact, the first time I turned on a miner, uh, with it at 100% the computer just completely crashed uh, within a few like within minutes within seconds really and um, I found it was hey the memory is completely overheating So in order for it to even run any sort of mining uh, You definitely have to reduce the power limit on my card, but uh, we'll see if that that actually changes <clears throat> but my benchmark is 70% fan speed 70% power limit and what does that look like in terms of temperatures? And uh, so right now, uh, stock clocks, 70% power limit, it is mining at 86 uh, mega hash per second. And our temperatures are 55.8 and the memory's at 104 uh, right there. And uh, we're gonna see if at those same settings we get a different result so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the card apart I'm gonna be using uh, this template that is provided uh, by someone on reddit uh, and uh, these instructions as well you can get the links right there as your reference if you need to go ahead and pause um, I'm going to be using a few different pads just based on availability uh, I'm using the drift ice pads. Uh, I've got two of those and I also have the GLID GP ultimate pads. These are supposedly the better pads uh, with 15 watts per, I don't know if that's millikelvin or, or what, but this is, it's a conductivity ratio. Uh, but this is 13 watts, so uh, the G lid are a little bit better, so I'll try to use those as much as I can. Um, but I will take what I what I can. So let's go ahead and tear this 3090 apart and get it back together.
Okay, so I have got a new thermal paste on there, cleaned everything off on the heat sink plate, and hopefully we can get this all put back together, and then we'll apply the pads on the other side. computer and check for temps. news here. Uh, you can see that uh, we've evened out and we've actually, the, the memory's gone up to 84 degrees at one point, uh, but is kind of settled in at 82 and the core temperature of my GPU is at 54.2. So I have, as advertised, uh, lost 22, sorry, 20 degrees uh, and in fact 22 degrees uh, off of my GPU memory junction temperature and basically 1.5 to 2 degrees off of the GPU temperature itself and uh, it's hashing it at the same rate but I was kind of limiting it in general just uh, so it wouldn't completely overheat but going from 104 Celsius at 70 percent uh, to be able to be at 82 is really great so I'm actually going to try I, I haven't been able to do this in the past because it crashes my card, but let me bump the power limit up to 85 and see how, how fast I can actually start hashing. So we're going 93, temperature is still only at 84, <laughs> and uh, it has not crashed yet. <laughs> So that's a good thing. Let's go to 90% for fun. Still doing okay. We're up at 88 degrees on the memory. Oh, well, let me hit apply. 90, apply. Now we're hashing at 104, 105, and almost 106 there. 88 on that GPU memory junction. And let's go ahead and go for broke and go at 100%, just for fun. My computer's still running. That's always good. 88. Uh, we're also using, how many watts are we using here? Uh, 343 watts. We're probably not going to get a whole lot more performance off of that. In fact, it actually went down. Um, but GPU memory junction temperature is at 90 degrees Celsius. So we're going full speed here, and we're not even close to where we were uh, before going at 70%. So I would say this has been pretty effective. 
Uh, I'm going to jump that down to 85% again. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? Let's go ahead and try a memory overclock. <laughs> I don't know what the safe range is for this, uh, but I do know it doesn't have a whole lot of headroom. Let's go 150. Okay, let's try 300. Okay, let's see what we're hashing at. 108, 109. Memory's at 92 degrees. Uh, let's go for 460. It might crash. No, it's doing okay. 92 degrees Celsius on that memory. We're hashing at uh, 108. Let's try 550. Hashing at 112. GPU temperature is still only 90 degrees, 92 now. Um, we're at 300 watts. Let's give it. Let's give it power limit 100 percent. See what happens. Now hashing at 112, and temperature is only at 92. So. Anyways, uh, looks like it was super effective. Um, I'm going to play around with this some more, but I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. And I highly recommend this. It's, it's actually not too hard. Uh, follow any of the guides on how to actually pull the GPU apart, but uh, I'm pretty happy. Thanks for watching.